Brett Johns jumped from the UFC to Bellator, riding a two-fight win streak, while Danny Sabatello takes the fight on short notice, making his Bellator debut. And yeah, he's called the Italian gangster, already speaking like one, using an F-bomb to call out our champion, Sergio Pettis. Let's get through this fight first, shall yeah, we? I think that's a good idea. He needs to get through Brett Johns first, which is not an easy task. For those joining us tonight, live from the UK on BBC iPlayer, we welcome you to Bellator 259 as the prelims move now to the bantamweight division, set for three. Five minute rounds, introducing the blue corner. At five foot ten, weighing in 135.6 pounds. His professional record, 10 wins, just one defeat. By way of Chicago, he fights out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, the Italian gangster. Danny Sabatello! And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the ah! red corner. At 5'7", weighing in 135.4 pounds as a professional. 17 victories, just two losses from uh, Swansea, Wales. Introducing Brad Johns. And the referee in charge once again, Todd Anderson. Ready? Danny Sabatello, bite! Fighting for the first time under the Bellator MMA umbrella. Johns in the red gloves, Sabatello in the blue gloves. And we are expecting nothing but a big bang in this one, John. This fight, I have been looking forward to this fight for so long. Brett Johns is outstanding, both in the stand-up and on the ground. But Danny Sabatello wrestled at the University of Purdue. He is an outstanding grappler, and he's very heavy on top. And if he can get on top of Brett Johns, he will create a ton of problems. Sabatello, a three-time NCAA championship qualifier, two-time 141-pound Big Ten championship winner as the captain of the Boilermakers, and he has taken Brett Johns to the ground. He's already in that position where he's getting close to having control of his back. Brett Johns is controlling hands, just taking his time, being smart. Don't make a big mistake right now. Don't give something to somebody. Johns went five and two in the UFC and a major addition to Bellator's greatly improved Bantamweight division as he gets back up to his feet. But now it's Sabatello fishing for the submission. Well, he is fishing for it. He had a little bit of what we call a face crank on him there for a second. Fishing for a submission is a lot better than sleeping with the fishes for an Italian gangster, by the way. Well, if you're the Italian gangster, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> But we knew that Danny Sabatello, when he took this fight on a week's notice, we went, man, I'll tell you what, you couldn't ask for a worse opponent to come in on a week's notice if you're Brett Johns because this is a guy that is so good in the grappling aspect with his wrestling. And confidence oozes out of every one of his pores, John. 28-year-old Danny Sabatello, 10-1 and one with three knockouts and four submissions against Brett Johns, who is 17-2 with two knockouts and six submissions. And John still defending against Sabatello. Sabatello on his back. Very nice job by Brett Johns. Take his time getting that little swing. But you see Sabatello in a seatbelt position. You see that upper and over that with those hands taking his time, using that one hook to try to control body position. Everything he's doing is being smart. Don't go for the craziness. Just keep on riding him. Make him carry your weight. Sabatello says his greatest strength is his imposing his will on his opponent. He says, this fight is going to go wherever I want it to go. I am the best at being tougher and meaner than my opponent. Did I mention he's confident? I don't think you did, but... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, Josh Thompson always tells you, you know, confidence is key. But if there's one thing we know about Danny, he's got a ton of it. For Brett Johns, his only two losses come to current UFC Bantamweight champion Aljamain Sterling and ranked contender Pedro Munoz. Yeah, he lost a decision to both of those gentlemen. And again, Brett Johns popping up immediately. So, yes, Danny Sabatello getting the takedown, but trying to maximize his position. He is, but he, he, because he's in position right here and he does have control of the position, he still needs to be very careful of Brett Johns. Brett Johns is a guy that we've seen roll into calf slicer positions and different types of leg locks. So just because you have his back doesn't mean that he's still not dangerous at times. Yeah, Johns defeated Joe Soto in December 2017 via the calf slicer, known for a variety of submissions. 
On his head, on his head. Right now you see him looking for that Kimura grip on the arm. The real thing, he's, he's, he, he wants to actually toss to that side. Nice job by Danny, bringing him up and down. We'll see if he can maintain that position. Johns gets back to his feet. This is what happens when you have two guys that are very good in the grappling arts. It is not an easy thing to get a man down to the ground and hold him down when he knows what he's doing. Sabatello continues to try to, well, does drag Johns down to the canvas, but unable to keep him there. And now he's got his back. Well, he did. He got that hook in, but again, it's only one hook. He's almost in the same exact position with that seatbelt position. And when you say seatbelt, you see that's because you see the arm over the neck going around and the other one under the arm all the way around the body, similar to the way your seatbelt is in your car. But it's a great position to hold on to your opponent. Sabatello has won four in a row since his lone loss to Irwin Rivera. That came courtesy of a punch to the body, but he has been in control here in his first Bellator MMA round as he and Johns begin their Bellator MMA journeys. Right now, Danny Sabatello is having a problem because he cannot get his arm free. And it's, Johns is not doing anything wrong. He is holding onto that wrist with the glove. It's legal. Ready? Ready? Hey! Well, round number two, and referee Todd Anderson warning both of them that they've got to uh, improve positions, and Sabatello immediately securing another takedown and immediately going to the back of Brett Johns. Excuse me, but is this Groundhog Day deja vu all over again? It is deja vu all over again. It, there was something that was telling in that moment because it, Danny Sabatello could have taken the back completely with, with both hooks and decided to go back to what he was doing before with that single hook. So we'll There's the roll through do. by Johnson. John, you mentioned it in round one, the, almost an opportunity there to go for the guillotine, but is now on his back. And Sabatello in top position, but in the close guard. Yeah. John's need, needed to figure out, I can't, I cannot take another round and do the same thing that was done before. That's not gonna work for me. So let me go to the guard. Let me see if I can work a submission from that position. You can breathe that out there. Roll him, roll him, roll him. Sabatello training at the estimable American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. Always a pleasure to visit with Dan Lambert, the belt collector of all belt collectors. And well, ATT has produced a, a plethora of champions. So you've seen Dan's collection. But they've collected a lot of world-class mixed martial artists at American Top Team. Danny Sabatello wanting to make his bones here in Bellator MMA and continues to work from top position. He is trying, he's, he's doing a good job of staying in the top position, landing strikes at times. You see him trying to swish his hips to get past. Johns brings up, trying to get into a triangle position. That doesn't work for him. Johns really needs to get that separation, pushing the head of Danny Sabatello down, down towards his sternum. That's going to make it where Sabatello has a very tough time landing solid strikes. When you're seeing Danny Sabatello's head over the top of Brett Johns' head, that means that he can deliver powerful strikes, both elbows and punches. So just how confident is Danny Sabatello despite taking this huge fight, the biggest of his career on short notice? He predicted a second round of TKO. He has two minutes and 42 seconds to deliver. Easier said than done against a guy like Brett Johns out of Wales. But it's been a tough start to the Bellator MMA journey for Brett Johns. Boy, it has. He's had his hands full. You really have to be impressed by Danny Sabatello as far as not only what he's done so far in the cage, but on a week's notice coming in and putting on this type of performance so far. And John's looking for the escape and just improving position, now being able to go to his feet, but continues to wear Danny Sabatello on his back. Danny Sabatello has got that leg turk. He loves that leg ride and just goes right back to that seatbelt position to control Brett Johns, keep him where he wants. A decorated wrestler in college, Danny Sabatello using his wrestling background to full effect here with a minute 45 left in the middle frame. 
Nice work by Brett Johns to use his leg to unlock that leg Turk by Danny Sabatello. Sabatello delivers a couple of knee strikes, but still diligently trying to bring Johns to the canvas, and yet there, it's not necessarily a stalemate by any stretch of the imagination, but Johns trying to break the grip. Well, what Johns trying to do is he's trying to utilize a Kimura grip to put pressure down on that arm. That way, if he can swing out and swing his body to the right, he's gonna be able to put a lot of pressure on the shoulder of Danny Sabatello. Put him on his head. Big lift, big lift. Two of Sabatello's four submission wins have been courtesy of a rear naked choke. Last one came in June of last year against Raymond Ramos, and uh, he stayed active during this pandemic year. Fred John's really trying to make that Kimura hold. That grip, he's trying to put a lot of pressure on it. This is similar, you go all the way back to the Pratt oh, right. fighting days. Sakuraba against Henzo Gracie. You need to be very careful if you're Danny Sabatello in that position. I always like going back to those Pride Fighting Championship days. I never die, John McCarthy. And just as Brett Johns refusing to allow Danny Sabatello to improve his position, but in the meantime, Brett Johns unable to do anything offensively. Yeah, he really has not been able to do anything, and he's been in the same position. Looking for a straight arm lock, putting a lot of pressure on that, but it's not going to be enough time. Stop. FC veteran Kazuhiro Nakamura, and of course, one and only Ronda Rousey. But obviously, we end up Mike back on Brown. That cage. I need you to work to get out, and I need you to work to advance. We're almost stalled. If it happens, I'm separating. Back to your corners. But John says, please. You got it? You got it? Ready? Hey! Third and final round, Brett Johns in the red gloves, Danny Sabatello in the blue gloves, both fighting for the first time here in Bellator MMA. Do you agree with uh, Todd Anderson's instructions? Well, Todd Anderson is actually trying to bluff a little bit there. He knows that Sabatello's got a good position. Nice Take down job. is stopped, and immediately Brett Johns going for the submission. He is going for that. Nice job of Danny Sabatello. Beautiful. Grabbing over the head, bringing his hips around. That takes the pressure off. Well, they have listened to the referee <laughs> as an explosive start here to the third round. And you heard Mike Brown, quality coach, one of the better coaches, really a former champion in MMA now at American Top Team, talk about the battering ramp, those knee strikes of Danny Sabatello. You, you heard Danny Sabatello okay, saying that he feels like he feels Brett John looking, searching for that Uchimata, meaning that he's trying to bring what, he's holding on to that one arm. He's going to try to bring his legs, swing it up between Sabatello's legs to bring him over the top. This time he's looking for a triangle as Brett Johns from the bottom. Good escape by Sabatello, and Sabatello, well, back in what has become his office in this is Bellator MMA debut. Yeah, he has been so successful with this position. Nice job of pushing off of the fence by Sabatello, but he should, instead of holding on where he is, he needs to get that hook with the other leg. He'll have better control. He can even go to a body triangle. Okay. Come on, wrist. Wrist neck, wrist neck. Wrist neck, wrist neck. Walk your fingers. On fight, Notice what Danny Sabatello is doing with his head and his chin, bringing it up tight, controlling off of the position. All of that is just outstanding grappling. Every time that I'm seeing Sabatello go to this one leg lock, it looks to me like he's almost looking towards a twister. Strike, strike. Yes, thank you. A definite clash of styles in this fight between the two newcomers and thus far the wrestling of Danny Sabatello has been his key to success. And, you know, again, this is debut on short notice, the biggest stage. A, a kid who obviously has a lot of confidence, a lot of uh, credibility when it comes to wrestling, and uh, he's using it. Hey, it's what got him to the dance, John. Well, yeah, when you're looking at a guy, you know, okay, maybe not as many fights as a lot of other guys at 10 and 1, but that's a lot of experience. But then all that experience in the NC2As and all that time at Purdue in wrestling, he is used to competition. Competition is nothing new to him and coming in, getting an opportunity to go against someone with the reputation of Brett Johns, 
And now putting on this performance, that is what we call doing damage and being just an outstanding fighter that's taking advantage of an opportunity. Brent Johns has two minutes and eight seconds to deliver some sort of Hail Mary here. And I know Danny Sabatello is making it impossible for him, but what can he do? What do you suggest Brent Johns do? Well, right now, with everything that I've seen, Sabatello is, he understands all these positions. And, you know, you can throw up the triangle and stuff. It's not going to be easy, especially Especially not now in the third round when he's sweaty and things, but you can always roll to those legs. When it comes to the wrestlers, the legs tend to be a problem. And I love the way Sabatello continues to control those legs. Yep. You can see Brett Johns looking towards himself. You know, that's when that's this what Danny's talking about. Talking about that Uchimane. He's looking for that swing of that leg up through the middle of the legs of Sabatello, and he's just making sure that that's not going to happen. Another waist lock takedown by Danny Sabatello. That leg Turk ride that he has been utilizing has been money for Sabatello throughout this fight. You see Brett Johns using his leg to get rid of it. Guy by the name of Abib Nurmagomedov used to do a really good job of control. Oh, he didn't he? Coming up on the final minute of this fight, a battle between Bellator, bantamweight newcomers, a division that we've seen a changing of the guard at the top with Sergio Pettis. Now the new king at 135, Danny Sabatello. And Brett Johns here with 45 seconds left. Well, it wasn't the kind of ride I'd no, pay money wasn't. for in an amusement park, that's no, for sure. 35 seconds you saw, Brett John, you saw Brett Johns get his hands locked together. I thought he was going to elevate him up. He wasn't able to do it. Sabatello was able to put pressure down on him. And Danny Sabatello just so active in all facets of this fight, John. Even now in, on his back, still trying to make things happen. Hey, he's cutting the arrow. Nice elbow by Brett Johns. Just not enough. With, very little time left. But this is the this is what MMA is all about. One nasty strike, and that could be it. The biggest come from behind win ever. But Brett Johns, top position, but I don't know if he's going to end up on top in this fight. I don't think so. And Danny Sabatello, a fellow Italian, no surprise, he's loquacious. <laughs> Is that what you call that? Whoever, everybody. Take a look at some of this work. This was Sabatello, beautiful takedown, elevates Johns and brings him down. You see him shoot underneath, again, picks him up, slams him down. Beautiful body positioning, putting a lot of weight on Johns. Johns trying to roll through on it. He slides over to the front. Just an outstanding job, another takedown. This was just the difference in the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we'll go to your three judges, Michael Murtha, Ken Coffey, Marcel Varela. All three have it exactly the same, 30-27. I'll have it for the winner by unanimous decision, the Italian gangster, Danny Sabatello. Make it five wins in a row, the biggest win of his career by far on short notice under the bright lights of Bellator I'm MMA. I'm the here. Italian gangster, Danny Sabatello. Well, he delivers on his promise. He stole Brett John's thunder, and he records a huge win in his Bellator MMA debut.